Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of Discover Raja Ampat. In today's video we're going to explore nudie rock. It's called that because, um, not because there's a lot of nudie branks to be seen. Of course there are some nudie branks on this dive site, but it's because the island itself looks like a nudie brank. On this dive site it's really cool because it's quite a diverse dive site. You can go um, in the shallow water and count the really beautiful and colorful things. And then of course in the deeper water there's also quite um, sometimes something to see. Now what we normally do is we jump in here on the left hand side if we look at the dive map. Um, if there's current it's quite easy to get down there. There's, um, you know, it's very easy to hide from it. And then we follow along the ridge um, a little bit more to the left. And on this ridge is where there's also a, a colony of red bubble anemones with um, a family of um, tomato clownfish or tomato anemone fish. Really beautiful to see. It's not very often that you see this um, red bubble ane anemones, especially a few of them together like that. And then as you go, go past over the ridge and then we descend on the, along the wall of this ridge. Really beautiful wall. And as you get down to about 25 meters, we turn towards the sandy area. Now in the sandy areas, quite often that we can see um, schooling barracudas. And if you're lucky, you might even see schooling um, bumped parrotfish. And then we just fo follow the bottom towards the ridge on the right hand side. And it's quite often that the current comes from the opposite end of the ridge. So we take a bit of shelter behind the ridge and go to the sort of the pinnacles on the right hand side. When you get there, it's again very, very colorful, loads and loads of coral. When you get to the ridge, that's where you might encounter the current. Now, you might need a reef hook here. And again, I want to stress this. If you're going to use a reef hook, please do not hook it on any live coral. You know, find an um, exposed rock and make sure it's sturdy enough to carry your weight in the current. And the reason why we want to hook up here or stay here for a while is if there's strong current, it's quite often in the blue that we're going to see um, either black tip reef sharks or gray reef sharks swimming around. So spend some time there, you know, if you get a good spot to um, hook on with your reef hook, it's, you know, it's always a nice feeling just to float in a current like that. And then once you're done, we of course go back to the same area where we did our entry. And then we just follow the reef. If you want, you can go on the back of the island, depending on if the current allows you. In the back of the island is just one big wall. It's beautiful to see, but it tends to be in the shadowy areas. So on the opposite end, in the front, of the, end, the side where we did our entry, we just follow along there. You might encounter some more um, black tip reef sharks swimming around, but it's really beautiful and colorful, the coral. And that's what's really beautiful in this dive site. Once you get to the area where you can do a good safety stop, again, there's lots to see. It's quite often that we can see turtles over there. And on the hard coral, if you look around, there might be a few pipe fish that you can find. And yeah, also here yeah, where we do our safety stop, as if you just go further around the corner, don't dive there. Um, that's also where there's a lot of current. So in the blue over there, there's very often, um, you know, a lot of different types of species of fish just, that just hang out in the blue. Okay, that's it. Um, yeah, let's jump in and let's go see what it looks like underwater. My name is Jan and welcome to my world.
So guys, that was Nudie Rock. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And as you can see, it's a really beautiful and colorful dive site. And in the next dive, and the next video for the next dive site, I'm going to take you back to central Raja Ampad and we're going to explore another dive site there. And it's called Sardine Reef. If you want to see what it looks like, as usual, remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Till next time.